This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast on Thursday, March 23rd today, a trip down memory lane. You're going to get a chance now to peek into the backstory of Mark and Charity Mornings. Really? How? There was a time when I was Mark and she was Charity. <laughs> Separate entities. Not I really yet. wish you would give me a heads up as to where we're going with this sometimes. Okay, go. Not yet. <laughs> Mark and Charity Mornings. Okay. And I know you're thinking, everybody, oh my gosh, I just assumed that you two were organically created in a laboratory. But no, we were not. No. Mm-mm. We were separate Mm-mm. people. Mm-mm. And then there was a dancing competition. <laughs> okay. Now I get where you're going. <laughs> and Dancing with the Stars of Quinty, year two... Yes. Pitted the two of us against each other with other couples. Yes. And yet. And as night, you can suspect or, or conclude, Mark won. <laughs> which is why I'm talking about it. <laughs> but we caught a glance across the dance floor and I said, one day I'm going to be your opening act. <laughs> yeah. It's funny eh, how things turn out, though. Crazy. Because that was, it was a fun time. It was. It was a it good time. It really was. And it, we had, was that after then, the cross dressing? Show in Sterling. Mm-hmm. That was Mrs. the very Sterling first time you and I or met. Th- was the dancing competition or Sterling? Sterling was okay, first. Okay, so Sterling came first. First. And then, yes. And because then Dancing with the Stars We were both judges in Sterling. Yep. And you're right. That was our first interaction. And then we did Dancing with the Stars together. And it does become very much, you can roll your eyes and scoff, but that family feeling. Because you're all going through it, right? You all have that connection yeah. of panic when you do it and yep. fear and pain <laughs> and, and embarrassment and trepidation exactly. and all Anxiety, that stuff. all of it you all go through it together so yeah it's like a bond that's formed by the end of it so i i'm not surprised that we're here today doing this from oh. that bond that was created oh i'm just shocked that four years later you're still here but <laughs> i go through them like shoes they just don't want to stay oh, with I me know. but if you think public speaking mm. is nerve-wracking dance in front of people It's a little bit more. There's a part of me that would love to do it again because it was such a good experience the first time. Right. Um, A bigger part of me is scared shitless at the thought. Yeah. To be honest. (laughs) I don't don't know know that I couldn't do it now. And we we did perform at the CAA Arena. That was the first year they moved it over there. That's right. It was year two. Yes. Uh, Still the Yardman at that time. Wasn't the crowd that it gets now. Wasn't the event that it is now, to be honest. Well, we built it. I think you were the first one to really lean into the costume and <laughs> and make it a production bring the show because now it is very much like you bring it there's been lifts there's been well there throws, has to be if you don't get them been, off the floor forget it you don't win well you gotta get off the floor it's a whole it's not just doing the dance anymore right yeah. it's a whole show it has to be it's incredible show. 20 it's bucks incredible. that's all it costs and that money goes right back into a great organization volunteer information Quinny. and it's their job to ensure one of uh, two things either side either when organizations need volunteers they help them set up or if you say you know what I have time on my hands I don't know where to volunteer you go to them and you say I'd like to volunteer for something and they pitch you up with an organization well and i'm teaming up with their organization coming up first of april i'm doing the canteen at uh there you go. for the bells and there for the belvis ends with there VIQ. right but yeah great organization and as you just pointed out filling a need a desperate need here in the quinney area and this is their biggest fundraiser of the year really charity and i were in dancing with the stars of quinty two 2009. This year, 15th annual. Yeah. Tracy Legault Davis on the show this morning to give us the run through and unveil the seven couples dancing this year. The 15th annual Dancing with the Stars Quinty. It is set, it is coming up, and it's official. It is official, and uh, thanks to um, the city of Belleville and Belleville Senators, uh, we are back at the CAA Arena, which is exciting. So it'll be Friday, May 26th. Um, we are so excited to be back in that venue. It's, the Empire has been absolutely delightful and has been a great partner for the last two years, but it just doesn't quite have the same um, pizzazz as being in the arena with you know over a thousand people with that black and white dance floor. Um, it's become iconic in the region, so we really are excited to be back. Tables around the dance floor, people right up uh, good and close. So you have how yes. many couples this year? 
We have seven couples this year. Um, so we've kind of stayed with a bit of a modification because of COVID. Um, our, our, before COVID, we had the, the sort of the strangers that we matched and, and went from there. And then with COVID, we stayed in the same household. And it was funny. Uh, we had a lot of people before COVID that said, you know, I'll only dance if it's with my partner. And um, so what we did was we just sort of stayed with that. You know, if you know somebody you want to dance with, then let's put you together. And if, if it's your partner, if it's a friend, um, and that actually <laughs> alleviated a little bit of stress from our office as well, trying to <laughs> match a bunch of strangers. That's <laughs> so crazy. It worked out really well. So th- seven couples. Seven Ticket- couples. When do tickets go on sale for this, Tracy? Tickets will go on sale Monday, um, what, Monday, March 27th at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster or the Belleville Senator's box office. Uh, we went back to the $20 for general admission uh, for anybody over the age of 18. We have a student pricing of $10. And then children 12 and under are free with a paid adult. We want to make this, uh, just like in previous years, a family-friendly night out. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. We have a lot of surprises. We have amazing dance teams. I can't even, I'm so excited about our dance team. One, one might be a little bit rough because he's got big shoes to fall. I believe you know him, Al Lewis. I think he's crossed the ball. <laughs> okay, uh, are we going to run through the teams? We can. Let's I'm do it. Okay, I wasn't Let's sure if you wanted to go through Let's them go. individually or, or post them up. We can post them up when, they, when it's, because it hasn't really, it hasn't been released officially yet. We're kind of no, getting the scoop so, here. You're getting the scoop, but I think because I've got a, a pretty cool committee, and um, I believe Terry, that you're one of my Maybe, wonderful perhaps. committee members. Mm-hmm. So, you know what? We got to give we got to give our committee members the scoop. Okay. Well, let's run through the, our our couples then dancing with Dancing with the Stars okay. this year. So Al Lewis, uh, across the hall from you from Starboard Media, will be dancing with Lori Foster from Address the Dressing Room. Okay. And they will be partnered with Devin Scott of Astounding Heights which is um, last year's winning coach. So mm-hmm. I've got some big shoulders. Oh, I know. No, uh, I haven't heard the others, but they'll finish third. Okay, please continue. <laughs> so we've got Sherry McKinney with Kurt Zidane. Um, they, uh, Sherry and Kurt, Sherry is Kurt's uh, mother-in-law. And uh, so oh. Sherry is with Live <laughs> Live Bit, Love Life, Live Life. And Kurt is a teacher with the Hastings Presenter School Board. All right. Okay. Uh huh. That could be interesting and dancing with your mother in law. I know, right? <laughs> um, so then we have Louisa Florentino with Stephen Ashton. So Louisa is, she was with the Belleville BABIA, but she's moved on to Ontario's Highlands and Tourism Organization. And she, uh, Stephen is with the City of Belleville, and so you might recognize him from different uh, meetings and things like that. And he's partnered with Daryl Keezy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, so Kurt and Sherry are partnered with Allison Nickel, with, uh, who is a dance instructor at Queenie Ballet School. So mm-hmm. That is amazing. Um, we have our Queenie West connection is uh, Counselor Zach Card and his wife, Bre- Brenna Card. Um, so that'll be exciting to have a counselor on. So I, never mind that he's also the owner of Wild Card Brewery, which is right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good beer. <laughs> um, and he's partnered with Alicia Sewell of Astounding Heights, and, and that'll be a great partnership. Um, so we have Tish Sharp. She is the general manager of Lone Star, and she is dancing with her dad, Kevin Sharp. Oh, nice. Oh, see, yes, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Winners. Oh, early, oh heartstrings. Early front. They're going to be pulling some heartstrings that night. Yes, yeah. So, and they're partnered with Rebecca Ferreni from, from the Quinney Ballet School as well. I'm not going to tell, um, tell them what to do, but they <laughs> should do daddy-daughter. Yes. They should yes. do like a wedding dance. Yes. You win. Like, Hands you down. win. Oh, I'm sure they're going to have a whole bunch of ideas. So, yeah. They'll have so a dance cool. instructor, but they can hire me. <laughs> okay, a previous well, winner. Right. One, we're definitely going to Sure. Play, play Got it. Yes. All over it. Uh, we have Jared Belmar and Shannon Belmar. Um, a team, uh, the, the two of them are volunteer everywhere. They're with, they volunteer for United Way. They volunteer for us. Um, they're with Whitley Newman Insurance and Templeman, Dominga, Templeman LLP. And their dance instructor is Jerry McCoy. And then we've pulled out all the stops because we have Carson Arthur of CJBQ, but HTTV City City Line, Carson Arthur's, uh, Car- Ar- Carson's Market and Garden Center in the county. And so that's huge. He is so excited to be a part of this. And he's teamed up with Jennifer Beldum of Northern Craft Supply. So they're from the, both from the county. Yeah. So they've got yeah. a really nice county couple. Yeah. And they're teamed with Leanne Ireland, who 
will definitely put them through the work. Um, Leanne's a great instructor. She's she been will. one of our longest instructors. Um, she will put together something great with them. Yeah, second place. All right. <laughs> Well, what a lineup. Al Lewis, as you mentioned, from Starboard will be participating mm-hmm. along with our own Paul Ferguson. He's back uh, hosting yeah. the evening with Tim Durkin. It's going to be yeah. such a fun night, Tracy. It is. It is. And we have some great surprises. Um, last year's winners will be coming back to dance. Um, it's always wonderful because our dance schools will do some exhibitions, um, which is wonderful. They have the kids out and, and showing off their stuff, which is so much fun. We have a couple of surprises that we're going to leave more for the night of. Um, and then, of course, afterwards, we have the dance party. You know, everybody's welcome to come out on the floor and dance. It is going to be a great night. Okay. And once again, when are tickets available? Tickets are available Monday, March 27th at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our office uh, at 613-969-8862. Or uh, our website at www.biq.ca and just follow the prompts for upcoming events. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks so much, Tracy. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. It'll be fun to watch Al's progression through this. It'll be fun because we've both been there and we know and we can laugh now. We went through this with everybody here on the radio station from Emily and Cole and yep. others that have gone through it. Uh, you know, early on when it's like, I think I got it. And then halfway through, it's like, I don't know why I'm doing this. Yes. And then the night before, it's like, will you do it for me? Yeah. You know, I'm going to puke. It's great. Yeah, I'm going to be sick. Oh, mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't believe. Yeah, but we've had... We've had uh, my first and Chris Wiggins first in this company. Yes, you both won trophies. And then Good you were you. third. But yeah, th- I we've had third. a lot of time. Emily threes. finished second. second. Cole yeah. finished second. Mm-hmm. Katie finished second. Uh, we've had a number of second place finishes. So we fare well. We're, we don't just play the music, we are the music. Well, and with Al teamed up with Lori Foster. I feel yeah. good about this. And Devin, their instructor, who was the winning instructor last year, mm-hmm. I feel pretty good about it. Like, and, and <coughs> excuse me, not to get too technical, but Al and Lori are, are pretty close to the same size. Right. Which can be key. Yes. Both can athletic. Yes. They're both athletic. Going to bring them. Very enthusiastic. Yep. Lori is incredibly enthusiastic. Al will, he, he's competitive enough. I think he would. You got to be competitive. He's going to win. Uh, he came in this morning to uh, when he wasn't doing his show over on Cool 100, because everybody just wants to be on our show. It doesn't matter if you have your own show. <laughs> you want to come over and be part with the cool kids. So uh, he came in when we were playing Donna Summer's Hot Stuff. Yes. And I said, you want to win, here's your song. And the music does play a role. Plays There's a no big question. role. People get into it. I'm not yeah. saying a waltz can't win. You... Like it better be really good because people want the show. And if so the crowd can song, be a part of it, absolutely. Yes, you get the you get the crowd on your side as mm-hmm. long as you do an okay job with it. Because I, I I'll go out on on a limb here. I'm not convinced that the best dancers win every year. A bad dance is never won. No, but sometimes the deciding factor literally is who pulled the crowd in. But if, if all Our things mom and being dad equal. There. Yeah. yeah. If all it's things kinda, being equal, yeah. it's like I wasn't sure which way to go, but boy, this crowd really got behind that one. They should win because that's part of it. It's not just a technical, it's not the Olympics with a technical score, right? It's not like the TV show where yeah. you have the judges be judges, be yeah. judges, yeah. critique the footwork and, and right. the certain movements and how, if, are you holding them right? It's not, it's not that. Yeah. It's like, wow, did you have a lot of fun doing that yeah. Did the crowd love it? Exactly. Because the winner is chosen by the crowd. Your ticket mm-hmm. is also your ballot. So for everybody there, they'll get over a thousand people. You vote for your favorite. So. And that's what I mean about mom and dad being in the crowd because you do want your friends and family there. You do want to encourage people it's fundraiser. Yep. to go. It's a fundraiser. But yeah, again, it might be the deciding vote. Yeah. If you have a Good few time. more there with you. Tickets available starting on Monday at Ticketmaster, like all great, like Taylor Swift concerts and Dancing with the Stars of Quinty. You go to Ticketmaster. So it's the same thing. Those are the only two things you can buy on Ticketmaster. Taylor Swift and Dancing, Dancing with, with the, the Stars, Stars of Quinty. Because it's big. It's that big. <laughs> so get your tickets for that. It's coming up at the end of May. You're involved how? I am part of the committee, the oh, organizing committee. Right, right. So we have another meeting tomorrow. Okay, but wait a minute, so though. She been, talked about these surprises. It isn't a surprise if you tell us, but are there surprises? Are there legit surprises? I will say, because there is an intermission, which is usually a showcase, Right. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be a little different this year. Sworn to secrecy. 
Oh. Well, I don't know that it's all confirmed yet. Our last meeting, there were some wonderful suggestions made, and I believe we're still waiting on confirmation for one of them. Intriguing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I should know more tomorrow. But you're still not going to tell me. Well, I'll find out if I can, because I, d- I don't want to... Right. That that if that's pulling you in, I don't want to. I don't want to take no, away from that. that. I want to. I want to pull people exactly. in and be exactly. like, you know what? And it is going to be a surprise because typically it's like the the winning couple usually comes back and opens the show, mm-hmm. and then yes, the intermission. Now for your intermission or for the year after you won, you actually came back and did another dance yeah. during the intermission. Well, in years I past, can, like I, groups have come in and done right. some of the schools that are involved, like the instructors, they bring mm-hmm. their students in and do that. It's, it's, we're shaking it up a little bit this year. Because what happened, if I may, and if this turns out to be the surprise and I'm about to ruin it all, I apologize. <laughs> but if you wonder why I danced in year three in the intermissions, because I found out that in the year you and I danced, the intermission dancers who were very good cost fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, and I, never I said knew to that. them, "No damn way you're spending a penny on that anymore." I mean, I'm not going to tell you to run your thing, but I'll dance. I'll come up with something as a defending. I won't open it. I'm going to put something together big <laughs> for intermission. And why? So you don't have to spend the money. And so that's how that came out. So that's how getting kids involved and having your white the horse winners, came out again. It just, I, I can't. I'm a hero, <laughs> and so that's how the intermission got to be the couple from the year before. I didn't know they paid don't, for that. Yeah, don't spend the money. No, I don't it's want a you to. That's what I'm saying. Yes. No. I won't. Uh, I don't want to be a part of something that's so going to waste money. So, if it turns out that this might cost us some money, are you willing to come back and do another dance during no, intermission? No, you are. Well, I won't be here, so <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to do it. You are still younger now than I was when <laughs> no, I, I won. No, I wasn't. When I won. How old yes. are you? Yes. How old? You're 60? Yeah. I'm 17 years older than you are, and I was 13 years ago. 13 you're still years, younger. Yeah, like, you were you were in your 20s. <laughs> yeah. You were um, in your 20s. Just. You were I in your 20s. I was in my 20. 30th year. That's still 29. <laughs> and you couldn't beat this guy who's 60 now. I know. What does that say, Mark? It means I, I had an amazing really partner. Shape. I had an amazing partner, and David wasn't that good. <laughs> David was great, though. <laughs> David was great. It was a lot of fun. But again, and this is why I bring up the size between Al and Lori, <laughs> and maybe you found it with, um, with Sue. Sue. Dave was a lot taller than I was. So there was, I did, we yeah. did have You'd that. You'd have to worry about. Yeah, because even yeah. even in the heels, which I ended up wearing for the dance, there was still such a gap. It, it made our choreography um there were only certain things we could do right. because of the height difference. So yeah. if you can get someone similar in size to you, because Sue was a bit shorter than you. Was yeah, she? but we were yeah. okay. We didn't, you were good because we you were still much. able to flip her over. That was the first yeah. flip. Yeah. You flipped her over. We opened and, with that. Yeah, and that away you it. went. Where we went. See, that was the win right there. As soon as Mark did that. As but soon as we, the feet came off the floor. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But, Mark had but the trophy. Jen, our dance instructor, uh, she and I were very similar when I had in my head how I wanted to do it. But she was the one that said the line. She said, you pull off the flip right away, you win. The rest of the dance isn't going to matter. If you can pull that flip off, everything else is good. You pull that one off, crowd's on your side. So you'll know within 20 seconds how this is going to go. No and pressure. I was like, I love that. Don't, I mean, we'll still build to the big finish, but we'll have the momentum of having. So when it worked, it was like, here we go. This We felt great. We did it, so everything's easy, as opposed to, uh-oh, now what? Mm-hmm. So that's what was so fun. So it was great. But so, it so, is a great And night. to all those couples, so thank you fun. so much for doing it. You're yes. going to raise thousands of dollars for a great organization. Put yourselves out there when a lot of people won't. Kudos to you. You're joining a great group it. of people. You're going to hate it for the next few weeks. Yeah. You are. And it's going to be it's But gonna you're going to your love head. it at the end. Yeah. Absolutely it's love be it. in your head. You're never going to want to hear your song ever again. Ever again. Because you're going to be sitting ever at your again. desk or doing whatever where you work, and your feet are going to be doing your moves. You're going to be rolling through it in your mind. You're going to be texting your partner it 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 becomes all consuming Mm -hmm. and it's wonderful when it's you're gonna miss it after that night when you show up it's like the sing movies (laughs) the curtain comes back 
and boom. And there you the are. It come is showtime. So, Pretty Tracy awesome. and uh, to Brenda and everybody with Volunteer and Information Quinty, good luck. Tickets on sale on Monday. Mark and Charity Mornings, join us tomorrow to wrap up the week. I guess it has been kind of a quick week, hasn't it? It really has. It's been a quick month, but yeah, this week has flown by. Final week of March. Next week, we'll get you into the weekend with your dad joke tomorrow. Jimmy Holler with Got Rumor Day. And uh, tomorrow is Say Yes Day to Kids. Thanks to the scouts, they sent a wonderful email when they asked kids, if your parents could say yes to do whatever you want, <laughs> what would you ask for? Mm. The number one answer, by the way, was blow stuff up. <laughs> so, <laughs> safely, of course. But what do you expect mom and dad to always say no to? I might say you, yes to that. That you like to say yes to? Yeah. Can I blow stuff up? Can I bring a wild animal home? Oh, you should see this list. Can't wait. So we'll have some fun with that coming up tomorrow. We'll also make our grand prize draw for the for the wine tasting, uh, the tasting experience with Grange Winery in Prince Edward County. We've been taking qualifiers all week with Galaxy of Games. So yes, when you play along with our dad joke tomorrow, grand prize draw we'll make shortly after. Stay dry on this rainy Thursday. We'll talk to you tomorrow on 95.5 Hits FM.